All right, guys, welcome back to another video today on the Ghost Flash channel. In today's video, ladies and gentlemen, it will be part two of the carbon fiber steering wheel installation. So in the first video, we are basically just reassembling and disassembling the OEM wheel and converting all that stuff to the new carbon fiber steering wheel from C2 Customs. And in this video, we're gonna be taking out my NRG quick release steering wheel and then go ahead and installing my new OEM clock spring. And then after we install the clock spring, we're gonna be installing the new carbon fiber steering wheel as well. So as you guys can see, I already got the car in the garage ready to go. This is my car current setup right here we got the energy quick release steering wheel so all said and done it should be fairly easy to remove obviously you just gotta remove the steering wheel just like that and then after the fact you have to remove all of these allen bolts to get this face plate off and once you remove this face plate there should be just one big bolt holding on the actual hub then i'll just need to throw on the clock spring throw on the wheel and that bolt and theoretically we should be good to go i'm hoping but of course that's always easier said than done so let me go ahead and find the right allen key size for this start taking these off and i'll update you guys in a second all right ladies and gentlemen now for the center bolt it is going to be a 22 millimeter size we got my big ugga dugga going on right now got the big boy about to take this off Look at that. Bolt is off. Locking washer is off. Now, <laughs> getting the hub off might be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Been on here for a few years. So let me go ahead and find my rubber mallet to give her a little tap skis. Don't know exactly how I'm gonna get this out or how to tap it. I don't know what that did. All right, we'll come back to you on today's episode. Hey, hey. Oh, just saw my life flash before my eyes, ladies and gentlemen. I thought that was about to be it for me. All right, so let's go grab the clock spring. Hey, yo! Also, disconnect your battery before you do this, guys. I just realized I did not disconnect my battery. That airbag could have just blew me up. Well, please don't blow up still. So I'm not done yet. Please don't blow up. I got one more bolt. Don't blow me up. Hooray, no detonation. Oh wait, pretty sure I was supposed to put this on first. That's tragic. All right guys, so in case you guys were wondering, I grounded it right here just to the actual steering wheel. I threaded a bolt into it, got the ground that way. As for a 12 volt constant, it was the basically this baby blue wire with a, let me see, I think it has like a yellow line in it. Yeah, it's like a blue wire with a yellow line or a green line, whatever you want to call it. But that was a 12 volt. So as you guys can see, I'm gonna turn off the car, turn it back on. Steering wheel should in three light up. Yep, there we go. So now that that's all good and wired up, I verified it's all working. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the airbag, cover this up, and we're gonna be all said and done. All right, guys, so technically it's done. And the OBD thing is plugged in. So theoretically, I should just be able to start the car and rev it, I believe, and the LED thing should work. So we're gonna go ahead and find out right now. So it turns on. It's a good first step. This has to go to a power and a ground to power it. Okay, hold on guys. Let me go ahead and wire this up and see what happens. 
So as you guys can see, it is working. We got engine RPM, and that just shows a picture of an engine, and then 10%, so maybe I'm using like 10% of, I don't know. Then we got what looks to be like something, I don't know, maybe boost or something? And then what else we got? We got kilometers per hour. Not sure how to change that. Hey, yo, I just realized if you hold down the button, it pulls out a whole nother menu. Whoa, I'm gonna figure this out, guys. I'm gonna play around the steering wheel real quick. All right, guys, I figured out how to put it into uh, American terms. So the steering wheel, as you guys can see, it looks freaking sick. We have a working horn again, which I didn't have, and we got cruise control again, bro. I am freaking lit right now. This is dope. So let's go ahead and get this car out of here. I think my uh, valve seals have uh, left the chat, ladies and gentlemen. They're a little smoky. Oh! What did I run over? Hopefully it wasn't important. Whoops. Y'all just caught that on camera, me running something over. Ah, so let's go ahead and get out the garage, ladies and gentlemen. Let me go ahead and park this car. Now if I'm right, it's yeah, the Genesis logo, boy! Hey, yo! Yes! Now we are talking, boy! Yes! All right, guys. Oh, that is dope. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video on the carbon fiber steering wheel installation on the Genesis Coupe. If you guys liked today's video, go ahead and leave a comment down below. What is your favorite part of the steering wheel and or what is your favorite part of this video and or the install? Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Let me know also um, some other content you would like to with the Genesis Coupe, what type of videos you wanna see me make with the car. And uh, other than that, like, comment, subscribe, and catch you guys in the next Ghost Flash video. Yeah.